we're just so glad that it worked out and our musicians are here with us. Um, I want to make a few mentions before I introduce the bands. Uh, I want to thank Montpelier Alive for the equipment lending. Um, I work for Montpelier Alive. Uh, this event is partially funded by Montpelier Alive. And I also want to thank the Parks and Recs and Recreation and um, Alec Ellsworth for having us here and at the Tuning Fork stage. Um, he had a wonderful concert series, he and his team, called the Parkapalooza this summer. So maybe some of you have come to that. Um, we're just really grateful for what they've created here for us and, and all the other wonderful events that happen throughout the summer. I also want to thank Le Bon Crip for uh, coming here and vending. It's nice to have that element a part of this festival day. And of course, Dana Robinson, who has um, agreed to do sound for us today. So let's hear it for all of those wonderful supporters. And a huge shout out to all of our volunteers. We had about 10 volunteers working throughout the day to make this happen. I definitely couldn't have done this without them. So I hope now they can take a break and sit and enjoy the music with you. Um, so let's thank our volunteers with another round of applause. I really, really care about those volunteers. Um, I am first introducing tonight Jake Blunt, who is joining us from Providence, Rhode Island. Um, I heard about Jake through uh, the threads of the old time community. Um, he is an up and, up and coming, but beyond that, rising star amongst banjo players in the nation and soon the world, I am sure. He um, has been discovered by, apparently I just heard Rolling Stone magazine. Is this correct, Jake? Yes. yes. He has an album coming out on Smithsonian Folkways in September that he'll tell you more about. He has another album called Spider Tales that he is going to be selling here. Um, and he's been on tour a lot. Uh, Newport Folk Festival recently, is that right too? Yes, I did some reading. Uh, Jake is a wonderful banjo, fiddle, um, guitar player, and singer. Uh, so he's going first, and that will be followed by Nadine Landry and Sammy Lind of Foghorn String Band, who has uh, come to Spice on Snow Festival a couple of times in the past, uh, in a couple different iterations, different bands. Um, we've really enjoyed them so much, we invited them back as a duo. Uh, and they live in Quebec, uh, only about 10 hours away, but <laughs> um, we're really happy that they came to join us too, and they're gonna be playing old time Cajun and Quebecois music for you. Uh, so let's hear it for our musicians today, and welcome them to Montpelier, Vermont. Thank you all for coming out.
into a world unknown. Soon as from earth I go, what will become of me? Eternal happiness must then my portion. A land of deepest shame, unpierced by human thought, a dreary region of the dead, where all things are forgotten.
Hello, everybody. Enthusiasm. Love it. Hey. My name is Jake. I am from Providence, Rhode Island. And this is my second time playing up here in Montpelier. I love it here. It's so pretty. I played at Zen Barn last fall, and that was a hoot. And I was really bummed that this didn't work out in the winter, so I'm glad that we finally made it here. Triumph, despite the circumstances. Right, be kind. And there's another one. 
taking its place. It's always fun to come up here and play some banjo and fiddle because my banjo and fiddle are from Vermont. It's uh, always a little bit curious to take instruments back to the place they come from and see how they respond to the climate shift, <laughs> which is less dramatic now that I live in Rhode Island, but uh, I've spent most of my life in Washington, D.C., which is uh, different. And not desirably so at this time of year, I have to say. I'm enjoying the cool evenings. And if you are maybe newer to old time music, um, you may not be aware that oftentimes this, this music involves different tunings according to the key or sometimes just the individual song. Um, it doesn't usually involve electric guitars, but you know, 
You got to make things work in the tradition. So I have to retune everything in front of a lot of people. As Katie mentioned, I have a new record coming out this fall. Um, it's coming out September 23rd on Smithsonian Folkways Recordings as part of their African American Legacy series. Um, and it's called The New Faith and uh, came out of me reading a lot of Afrofuturist sci-fi and thinking about what climate change will do to this music that we play and the places that we play it. Um, and this is one of the songs that I recorded for that. It's called City Called Heaven, and I learned it from Fannie Lou Hamer. Well, recording of Fannie Lou Hamer. I only learn stuff from dead people for the most part. <laughs> Sometimes. 
times are both exhausted and driven. Sometimes I know I'm not aware to roll. I've heard of a city called heaven. I've started to make it my
I have only a few more left for you. It's been so fun to spend the day with y'all, learning some banjo music, hanging out. And this is a beautiful park. I wish more cities had parks like this in the middle of them. It's a pretty cool thing to just drive from a city block into a large forest. Um, we don't have that in Providence. Maybe we will. This is the fun secret of the old time show, is that typically I play two versions of Grey Eagle and two versions of Roustabout in every set, because um, there are so many to pick from. We have had two Roustabouts. We're not going to get into Grey Eagles today, so you should come to the next show uh, to hear the next Grey Eagle, or buy my CD, which includes it, and many of the songs which you have heard tonight. It's called Spider Tales, I have CDs, and I have vinyl, and I would love to not have them anymore. Uh, come see me after the show. Well, most of the music I play comes from black and indigenous people. That's my family's heritage. It's what I like to dig up in this music. And this next piece is, is part of that. It's a wild tune. It doesn't sound a lot like what we expect fiddle tunes to sound like, sound like probably because it's a very old Cherokee tune. So we're going to hunt the buffalo.
I have just one more for you. My goodness, that's what I get for having a spring tank on my pedal board. Um, This next one uh, is, is a song from Cutie Leadbetter, better known as Lead Belly. Uh, there's a very cool band in Providence where I live called the Vox Hunters, who sings some very awesome old songs. Yeah, one Vox Hunters fan. Uh, it is very hard to get them out of Rhode Island, so they're not well known, but within the traditional songs community, they're very well regarded, and I've had the great pleasure of working on them, working on a project with them that's on uh, the history of black maritime music. Uh, we got a grant from Club Passim in Boston to dig further into this and have, make a little recording project, and we're still making baby steps toward the recording stage, but we have started taking the stuff out and performing it, which is fun. And this is a sea shanty I learned while actually living and working on a sailboat. Uh, it's called Holloway Joe. Uh, and it makes a great sing-along, if anybody feels like singing. So I will sing one line, and then there's an answering line. Way all the way, will all the way, Joe. Great, I'm not gonna quiz you, you got it. <laughs>
the storm clouds are gathering away, all away, well, all away, Joe. Tell me, can't you see those clouds on the horizon? Away, all away, well, all away, Joe. Away, all away, well, all for better. Thanks for coming, everybody. Stick around for Sammy and Nadine. Let's hear it again for Jake Blunt. Yeah, yeah. We're so glad he made the trip up here from Providence, Rhode Island to be with us. And um, I'm just gonna take a moment again to once again thank our volunteers for the Summer Spice celebration and also the board of directors for the Summit School of Traditional Music and Culture, which is presenting this event today. So let's hear it for those guys. Um, I just want to mention that you're really in for a treat with Sammy, Lind, and Nadine Landry. As I said, they drove 10 hours from uh, northern Quebec, I believe, to join us today. Um, and we're just really honored to have them. They've been touring with Foghorn String Band. They have another band called Cajun Country Revival. Um, you should check out. And now, as we can see, they're doing some duo material. Um, we're so glad to have them here. They're ready to hit the stage. It's gonna take a, about 10 minutes. Okay. They're going to do a little bit of a sound check. Um, so once again, we have Le Bon Crepe. You can get some food. Stick around. Uh, we're going to have Nadine and Sammy up next. Thanks again for coming. Hello, Montpelier. <laughs> How about a hand for Jake again? That was a great show. Thank you. Huh? Just a wee bit. Hardly any. Hello, hello. Yeah. No, we don't want feedback. We don't want feedback, right? <laughs> Unless it's constructive. Well, when Sammy's done talking, um, You'll come up and we'll play some tunes. In the meantime, um, I'm just going to ask this question. Have you ever been to Quebec? Yeah. Have you ever been to the Gaspé Coast? A few of you, that's pretty east. Um, 
It's further north, but not considered North Quebec, because Quebec goes up so far up. But we're as far east as you can get, pretty much, in uh, my hometown of Pointe-à-la-Croix. If you ever come, we'll have the kettle on. You can stop by. Okay. <laughs> I'll start with a nice uh, Cajun song on fiddle and triangle called Mon Vieux Wagon. My old wagon, when I was young, I used to go in my old wagon to go pick up the, my bell. And it was on a Saturday night and life was great, basically. <laughs> oh yeah, and, they, they, and still married for 40 years, that's the song it's about. And then I see that there's a big dance floor in the front, so don't be shy. Grab your waltzing or a two-step partner. everybody we're gonna play a nice little fiddle tune from the great state of Missouri right here it's called knock around the kitchen until the cook comes home We love old time music, we love Cajun music, and we love to play Cajun music on the banjo. It's not common, but I don't see any Cajun police here tonight, so we're just gonna risk. We're gonna risk it. This one is a nice one that uh, 
originated in France and went to probably Acadie, where my where I'm living right now, and then uh, headed down to Louisiana at some point. And it started as a nice conversation between a man and a woman, where he he says to her, um, "I'll give you a golden ring if you'll marry me," and she's like, eh. "Is that all you got?" I'm gonna say no, and uh, I'm gonna give you a brand new car and my portrait if you'll marry me. And she's like, eh. How about this? The key to all my silver and my gold. And once again, she just does not light up until he says, "I'll give you my love and my heart and all the love that's in it." And then she's like, "Oh." Sammy and I are gonna celebrate our ninth wedding anniversary tomorrow. So. <laughs> Pretty awesome that I married someone who plays both banjo and accordion, right? <laughs> nice for me, anyway. <laughs> Everybody, that was a little banjo tune from Kentucky called The Bald Headed Judge. Um, there's kind of a bit of a fiddle tradition in the Gaspé Coast, not so much or as much as we'd like. These days, but they came a point where there's quite a few fiddlers. My grandma was one of them, and she taught all her kids to play fiddle or 
piano and uh, guitar to back up our fiddle tunes. And uh, growing up, we always had music parties, which was really nice. And I just kind of assumed that everybody had music gatherings in their family. And one time, maybe in fifth grade or something, my friend was all bummed out. And I was like, what's going on? It's like, ah, oh, family meeting, family, well, you didn't even call it a party. Because there was no such thing, really. It's like, well, they're just like so boring and they only talk about politics. And I was like, wait. They're not like playing music and raging tunes and dancing and singing. He's like, no. So then I realized I was pretty privileged to have grown up in a musical family. But we'll play a tune called Castonge that comes a little further east and north of us um, from Edouard Richard. And then into a nice Newfoundland tune that we've learned lately called a Red Island tune. Thank you so much. We crossed the border and they made us uh, open the side door of the minivan and they're like, what you got all in there? Like, instruments, like, you play all those? I'm like, yeah. Like, Are they all gonna come back with you? Or are you gonna leave some down there? I'm like, no, no, they're all coming back with us. You crazy, we're not gonna forget any. It's happened before, but we're really gonna try hard to not forget any. So since we brought them all, might as well brought, play them all. So he's gonna 
Play the party in the box here, the accordion. Yeah. Ooh. We'll play one. I, I love uh, playing the Cajun music, and it seems like since I'm Acadian, that would have been kind of the reason why I got into it. Would make sense anyways, but uh, when I was 19, I went to visit my aunt who lived in the Yukon Territory, and I thought I'd visit her for a couple weeks, but I ended up staying 17 years <laughs> up north, and I uh, would very many frequent trips to Alaska and discovered this gang of crazy people that did not speak one word of French, but yet they sang all this Cajun music so beautifully. And I was like, what? Why am I not doing that stuff? I love it. And I understand what they're saying. So, And it's uh, different from my French, but still close enough that I can understand and just appreciate all the beautiful imagery that's in it. This one's called Jean Glamois, which is like, juggle of me juggle yeah so it's like think of me once a day even though you've left me <laughs> It's always customary in Louisiana dance halls to follow up a two-step with a waltz. So we're going to do one here called the Waltz of No Return. <laughs> don't go anywhere. Don't sit back
Now you can sit down. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's gonna be a breakdown if you wanna do some, some jigging and dancing. Oh, I, I gotta tell you about what I did last Saturday. Um, proud to say that I'm, well, we'll know in six to eight weeks if it's really official, but most likely will be. And the Guinness World Book of Record Guinness, something, something, order of those three words, um, for the most amount of people that tap their foot to a fiddle tune, like Quebecois style, sitting down while a tune played all together. There was 361 of us that did it all at the same time. <laughs> it was it was super cool to be part of that event. It was a uh, we did it for six minutes and 38 seconds, and uh, there was a jumbotron with like the the timer going up, and it seemed like we had done it for at least 30 seconds. And I look up and it said eight. And I don't know what type of uh, time unit they had there, but I, when we finished, because the officials had like a little timer around their neck and it said six minutes, 30, 38 seconds, but it was like one minute and 42 at the counter. So I don't know if they were trying to play a joke because we were supposed to do it for at least five minutes, but their five minutes is like half an hour or something. That was super weird. But yeah, we did it, and it was uh, it was really funny to be part of that. <laughs> and there's a late, and then that was like in Juliet, just north of Montreal. And uh, I sat down, and the girl next to me, uh, we just kind of chit chat before it started because it took a long time to sit 300 people because it all had to be like recorded officially. Uh, and I said, oh, I came all the way from the Gaspé Coast for this. She's like, oh, are you kidding me? I was just there a couple of weeks ago. I was like, oh, really, where'd you go? And then she was telling me, like, northern New Brunswick and all those towns, and there's a town called Caraquette. And I was like, oh, you went there? Like, did you go for the festival? Because they have a pretty big Acadian festival. She's like, no, but we were in Camelton, and we saw this duo. It was great. It was like S Sammy and... Uh, <laughs> I was like, Nadine? She's like, yeah, that's it. I was like, that's me. She's like, you're kidding me. <laughs> that's funny. So she's like, I got to tell my sister-in-law. <laughs> Anyways, enough talking. <laughs> Does this tune have, Sammy? I don't even know. 
Must be at least six. Just making it up as you yeah, go. Every time it's different. <laughs> but that was a great old fiddle tune from. Uh, Great state of Texas. It's called Grigsby's Hornpipe. Well, I'm from Minnesota originally, and I was really lucky to grow up in a pretty musical family. But it was my oldest brother who really got got me going on the kind of music I lo still love. And, uh, Started off with the Minneapolis rock and roll bands, you know, Husker Du and Replacements and all that kind of good stuff. You know. But of course, Bob Dylan, but probably one of the biggest influence on me was a guy named Spider John Kerner. Yeah. Spider, yeah, he rules. He's still going. And I got to see him, you know, at least three times a year from the time I was 12 to when I left home when I was 18. But it was a big dream of ours, a big dream of mine. Last time, Fog. Falgrove String Band played in Minneapolis. We got Spider to open up the show, and it was just unbelievable. He's still going. He might have retired from playing music, but he's still walking around and being, being the goofball that he was. Oh, yeah, the fiddler from Texas is named Eck Robert. <laughs> it was I, I would have lost a lot of sleep over that. <laughs> you did it. A chord? It's because there, there'll be a test later, so... <laughs> So anyway, we're gonna do a one that I got from Spider. It's a real common fiddle tune and uh, or a common song in the old time music tradition. It's called the Roving Gambler.
whenever I meet with a deck of cards, lay my money down, lay my money down, boys, lay my money down. That's the Roman Gambler into Birdie and the Ash Bank. You take more double fiddles? Yeah. All right. We're going to do a beautiful... We're going to do a beautiful little waltz from the great country of Norway. Listen to a lot of music at home, especially the last couple of years. I've gotten into all kinds of crazy stuff. Not crazy stuff, but beautiful music from other places. And here's a waltz called Fellback, which means like a mountain bird. When uh, we've lost my both my grandparents, but uh, when uh, she was actively playing, it was really cute. The fiddle always kind of hung on the wall. And she'd pick it up and hand it to my grandpa, who did not play any music at all, but somehow tuned the fiddle and handed it back to my grandma. I got the advantage, well, and it never sounded bad, like grandpa was magic that way. Uh, he believed in fairies and stopped people from bleeding when they had injuries and stopped colics and horses, so we'd get lots of phone calls. I called him a bunch, like carving pumpkins, like, grandpa, my roommate just cut herself carving pumpkins, he's like, he did his thing where he was not allowed to say anything. He was not allowed to share what it was. He was allowed to say the secret to one person of different gender than him. And then she or he, you know, would be able to say it just once to someone of different gender. And my grandma also knew that trick, but we always thought of grandpa. And one day I was like so curious and I wanted to have that gift so bad. And I said, well, what, do you, do you know if you say the same thing? They're like, no, we never talked about it. I was like, well, where is it now? And they're like, well, grandpa gave it to the local nurse, the village nurse, and grandma gave it to the oldest son, and it kind of got lost. And I'm just like, no. But anyways, tuning fiddle was another of his magic powers. <laughs> that was nothing for him. <laughs> oh, and the funny part about his horses, too, if, like, if, let's say, grandpa's neighbor, his horse had colics, and then he would call my grandpa. And grandpa on the phone had to be like, what color is it? Even though he saw it every single day of his life. And he'd be like, what color is your horse? Still gray. All right, go tomorrow morning, your horse will be fine. And sure enough, they go to the stable. And the horse was just perfect health. <laughs>
Fiddle tune from Mississippi there called Dony Gal, or just Dony. Perfect. We got a couple more for you. We'd like to say a big thank you to Katie Krauss for organizing and the Summit School and all the volunteers. What a great event. We love winter, but we also love summer. Who are we kidding, huh? Summer's nice, winter's nice, it's all good. And also thanks to Tracy for our, like getting our food and everything, that was really nice. And also to uh, Chris and Jenny for inviting us in their home. It's been really nice to see you all folks and thanks to all of you for supporting live music. We, we still have fun, but we're having way more fun that you're here. Here's an old Carter family song, a gospel song.
Carter family song, man. Well, we're gonna finish up here with an old classic and we're gonna invite a, a new friend. Well, we became reacquainted today after six years of hanging out, or hanging out six years ago. Jay Blunt. We had a lot of fun playing at the dance uh, this afternoon. Um, we didn't really know your tune, and you didn't really know our tune, but uh, it never stopped us from smiling, you know, <laughs> the beauty of it. Nadine Landry, and Sammy Land, thanks so much. Thanks so much. Didn't expect that at all. Yeah. Haven't played too many gigs in the last couple of years.
we fell out, my 